NBC sports anchor Bob Costas is a rising topic in Google Trends today after blasting ESPN's decision to give the prestigious Arthur Ashe Courage Award to Caitlyn Jenner. Here's what he said on the Dan Patrick Show. It strikes me that awarding the Arthur Ashe Award to Caitlyn Jenner is just a crass exploitation play. It's a tabloid play. In the broad world of sports, I'm pretty sure they could have found, and this is not anything against Caitlyn Jenner, I'm pretty sure they could have found someone who was much more close, much closer to actively involved in sports, uh, who would have been deserving of what that award represents. That's not to say that it doesn't take some measure of personal courage to do what Caitlyn Jenner has done. So obviously we're going to discuss this, these comments, but let's give you the ESPN statement, which also describes the award. We wanted to know what the description was. It says, the Arthur Ashe Courage Award is meant to honor individuals whose con contributions transcend sports through courageous actions. Sometimes that courage is demonstrated over the course of a lifetime, and sometimes it's demonstrated in a single act that shines a light on an important contemporary issue. At all times, there are many worthy candidates. This year, we're proud to honor Caitlyn Jenner, embracing her identity and doing so in a public way to help move forward a constructive dialogue and progress and acceptance. Joining us now via Skype is Sirius XM talk show host Pete Dominic. Pete, right away I want to get to whether or not you happen to agree with Bob Costa's sentiments on this matter. I, I, I absolutely do, and so do so many others. I mean, really, it is clickbait. That's the world we live in uh, today. Ratings and getting clicks. ESPN created this award show. They created this award. And one of the problems is in the sports community, I think, I think this is just my idea, that people are afraid to criticize ESPN because that's a place that they might someday get paid. It'd be like me criticizing the HLN. Not doing it, am I? <laughs> but I'm happy to criticize ESPN for this choice. And I agree with Costas. Okay, so let, let's get to a couple, a, a key point here, because at the end of the day, the, in, regarding the Costas statement, you know, he said the recipient should have been someone who was much closer actively involved in sports. Well, if you look at some of the previous 10 recipients, say, of the Courage Award, among them you've got Nelson Mandela and Robin Roberts. So how does that fit in? They, uh, they weren't necessarily actively involved in sports at the time, right? That's a, that, that, I think that's a, a fair criticism, but I think it's also important to mention uh, that, you know, Caitlyn Jenner is involved in, the, in the, the show everybody loves to hate but probably watches. I haven't seen it, the Kardashians. He's also you know, uh, really caught up in an issue of a, a fatal car accident. Um, and, and I should say she. And she is brave and courageous. This is a good thing that Caitlyn Jenner d d done. And, and, and Costas equivocated that, and I am too. But there are people like Lauren Hill, the college basketball player who died of a brain tumor, but in the last months of her life raised money for cancer research. And there's a long list of other people that I think we could make viable arguments that are more, quote, courageous. Okay, well, Pete, obviously there are a lot of people who are actually defending ESPN's decision decision, including a very legendary name in sports, tennis player Billie Jean King, who herself received the Courage Award in 1999. Let's take a look at what she told the AP. It says, quote, the interview with then Bruce Jenner and now Caitlyn Jenner really helped people to be clear in understanding, especially about gender versus sexuality. I think it's really appropriate that Caitlyn won the Arthur Ashe Courage Award. So Pete, by ESPN's definition, it can be awarded for a, quote, single act. It doesn't have to be some long career-based uh, choice as long as it shines light on a, a contemporary issue. So to King's point, I mean, Jenner meets that, right? Where do we get off criticizing this choice? Well, we get off criticizing this choice because of our instant outrage society and because we're entitled to do this. But I mean, it, it, you know, the idea that we uh, have this award, I think it's a good thing. But ESPN came up with this award show why? Because they wanted to do good things or they wanted to have new programming. I mean, they, they, they you know, historically, it's a, a very slow time for sports, the award show. This is really, in my opinion, more about ESPN. Award shows are often about the award shows and not necessarily about the people that we're supposed to be celebrating. And I'm just saying, and so is Costas, and so are so many other people, there are other people that probably would have been uh, better fit for this award to bring attention to what they've done and what cause they've done than Caitlyn Jenner, who happens to do, be doing a very brave thing, but also very famous at the moment. It's going to help. See Pete, there's this conversation on Twitter, we should point out, this campaign for Jenner to give up his award to who you mentioned, Lauren Hill, you know, the, the college basketball player who died of brain cancer. So I want to ask you straight up, 
do you think that should happen? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that I, would be I, I one way to serve both interests, correct? It, it would be, and I would think it would make Caitlyn look uh, even better than she already looks, uh, having done what she's done. You know, she put herself in this in this position in a brave way, and she's. I mean, I, I don't criticize her for any yeah. of that, but when it comes to this award, I think why yeah. not bring attention to somebody who is not getting the attention that Caitlyn well, Jenner is, that I think we all mm. agree is getting more attention than just about anybody in pop culture media right now. Yeah, Pete, we'll see whether or not that transpires. Obviously, we know social media can certainly affect change.